first, in the first right. wave in the Philippines. And along about that time, about three or four months before, I read in the paper where MacArthur sent a battalion to some island south of Manila. Well, uh, I said, I said, if we land, when we when we land there, in the first wave, when that boat, I can't swim nowhere, and with all the equipment on it, if you don't take you up that close enough, I done got lucky all the other times. We, I didn't drown. <laughs> I said, I may get drowned on this. I may never see it, so I'll write a letter. So I wrote a letter. Just letter. I didn't say I'm about dying. I just put it in there. Just wrote a letter. I got up out there, we'll forget it. We was going around and around about 4 o'clock in the morning. We weren't going to land until 9, till everybody got off the ship. Sometime. Then we'd all go in together. And uh, we was going in, I had a lot of young ones. We'd done gotten a lot of young men. I looked in the back of the boat. I had to be in the front, see. I looked in the back, they all had their head down like that, you know. I said, burn the name with Brophy. I said, Brophy? Y'all get up back. I said, we're going to have tea and coffee at 10, 2, and 4, just like the Australians. I said, we'll get there, all right. I didn't have no idea. But when we got up there, I saw the trenches. When we got there, it wasn't a single jail fair. What? See, when MacArthur put that battalion on that island south of Manila, see, the Japs went in the north. Right. And, and we, they didn't think we could sail through them islands. There's thousands of islands there. Right. And the Japanese are the best sailors in the world. So, but they thought they, they couldn't do it. They thought we couldn't do it. But we sailed through those islands, went right by Corregidor, mm. and landed where the Japanese did, in the northern part. Well, he'd already, the, the emperor on, uh, I mean, the thing on, commander on the Philippines, he, he, he knew that MacArthur sent that group down. He thought we was coming south. Right. But we didn't. We came in north, just like the Japanese. Surprised him. That's why I wasn't nobody there. That's why I'm here today. If they'd been in Infanto, I lived, before I got to the beach, I could look up and see the trenches all in the And But they were all gone. That's right. A hmm. little bit of luck. I had about four, four things, but the biggest thing, now this is the last thing I'll tell you. But in the Philippines, late on, when we was just about over, when we got cigarettes, we had to take them and, if, I mean, if we had left in the platoon, we'd make a pile. If it was 17, we'd make, and if we'd break the packs open, divide them up equal. And then like me, if I didn't smoke, I'd swap mine to somebody to, when we got a Coca-Cola. Never did get the Coca-Cola but twice while we was over there. I always give them my cigarette, and uh, I was sitting there, we was in a lull, just a little lull, and the Japanese had a bummer, a bum, that run on a truck, just like a shoot-to-shoot, -shoot. Huh. and it came out, we knew they had it because at night, when it's coming, fire was coming out of the end, but it wasn't accurate. It scared you to death, but it wasn't accurate. I kid you not when I tell you this. That's the reason I don't write it up. I mean, in the paper, I don't tell my story. Because nobody would believe it, no way. The Japs were down in the valley. They had that truck down there. I was counting out these cigarettes for the men. Everything was low. Somebody said, the Japs got a truck down in the valley. It looked like they got a shoot to shoot on it. They put that bomb on there, and it started to come in five stars out the end. It came up there, and I was, it's like I was sitting here just on a big place. And there's a big rock wall right there. It came in on that side, went right in front of me, and went to that wall, and it stopped about that far from that wall. It had a nose on it about that long, about that square. And they came up there and got it. It didn't go off. See, it didn't hit the wall. They came up there and got it, and they screwed it out. They say they weighed about 300 pounds. But if that thing had went off, it'd blow down a hill. You, you wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here. Yeah, yeah. But that, I had them four things. They all laughed and said I was like a cat. I had nine lives. Lies, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know.
Those are good. I don't be able to tell them all that. I got a thousand things I could tell you. Yeah. That's very interesting, Carver.